Our wait is finally over. After a long, treacherous 20-day wait to see the Kansas City Chiefs starting unit back on the field, it is finally time. Well rested, heavily invested and studied up, the Chiefs host the Cleveland Browns this Sunday afternoon after the Browns were able to dispatch the Pittsburgh Steelers in the AFC Wild Card round. There are some concerns about the Chiefs having so much time off in between games, but at the same time, Andy Reid teams are excellent off of longer breaks. It will be very interesting to see which Chiefs team shows up early on in this game against the Browns. It is no secret that the Browns' defense isn't particularly good and the Chiefs' offense is one of the better units in the NFL. In this post, we are going to look forward to some ways the Chiefs' offense can attack the Browns' defense. Middle of the field passing the Browns' passing defense is especially bad over the middle of the field. Without context, those numbers don't really mean anything, so let's quantify it a little bit. From a completion percentage standpoint, the 64% aligns with the Browns' completion percentage allowed on the season, roughly 14th in the NFL. The yards per attempt stat really shows exactly how poor the Browns have been over the middle of the field. The NFL's worst defense in terms of yards per attempt allows 8.2, so the Browns allowing over a half yard more than that over the middle of the field is quite terrible. Then we transition to Patrick Mahomes and how he fares over the middle of the field. Over the course of the season, he has had a 66% completion percentage and 8.4 yards per attempt. Mahomes has specifically shined in the intermediate and deep areas over the middle of the field, posting top three rankings to both areas of the field in the NFL. You can see through the clips from the Steelers' playoff game that the Browns are very susceptible to a variety of route combinations over the middle. The Steelers found a ton of success with mesh concepts underneath and running deeper, in breaking roots behind them. The Browns linebacker group isn't the most athletic or best coverage unit, and it often froze when it had something to see in front of it. It made it really easy to slip receivers in behind the second level and in front of the safeties who were playing very deep most of the game. Even when just working isolated comebacks and digs, the Steelers found plenty of space over the middle of the field, as the zone defenders in the area aren't exceptional coverage players. On the other side, the Chiefs happen to have one of the best middle of the field receivers in the entire league, only he plays tight end. Travis Kelsey is an exceptional receiver at every level of the field, but he does much of his best work between the numbers. Cleveland has no obvious answer for him. Let's examine the Browns' recent matchups against quality tight ends.